I'm Jessica Goddard there with your Thursday evening KRQE.com webcast. Mark Ronchetti starts with the weather. Pretty quiet weather pattern for us over the next day or so. We're going to see partly to mostly sunny skies on Friday. A cold front approaches for the weekend here, and that is going to cool things down temperature wise across the east between 10 and 20 degrees. Most of the moisture, though, will stay to our north. Just a slight chance of a snow shower across the four corners in San Juan's later on tonight. Our new photos, a new clue in the unsolved West Mesa murder case. Albuquerque police are asking for the public's help in identifying the seven women in these photographs that were recently given to police by an unnamed source. Detectives are trying to determine if they are linked to murder mystery in which the bodies of 11 women and an unborn child were found buried on the West Mesa last year. The physical characteristics of the women in the photos match those of the victims. However, police don't know who they are and whether they're in safe or in danger. Anyone with information is urged to call police. The Albuquerque Teachers Federation says APS Superintendent Winston Brooks was wrong to transfer to La Cueva football coaches. Brooks suspended Fred Romero and Michael Touche because of drinking on a team bus by some La Cueva players. He also removed them as coaches. The union says it may challenge those disciplinary actions, and the ATF has already challenged the transfer of the two coaches to another school. The union says that's a clear contract violation, and if Brooks doesn't back down, it will take steps to make him. Both coaches have also hired high profile attorney, trial attorneys. Join us tonight on KRQE News 13 at 10 for the latest local news, weather, and sports.